camp is going so far? You put the pads on, uh, I guess, just a few days ago. What's your What's your impression of the cornerbacks right now? Uh, my impression is pretty good. You know, we all come together as a group. You know, we have the best wide receiver, of course. So going against those guys every day is pretty much making the game slow down, much easier for us. So we all come together as plan as one. Which red, Which wide receiver has made you better the most? The most often? I might say. James Washington, since I've been here, I've been trying to go against him each and every day, and each and every day is a different day. Yeah. You know? So you never know what you get out of him. So I'm breaking my A game every time we line up against each other. Which which veteran defensive player, and maybe they've moved on, graduated, have you earned the most from and applied to your game? Um, I say Trey Flowers. Okay. You know, because on the on the back end, like he depended on corners, you know, in the middle of the field. So he's in the middle of the field over everything. So if the edge is not right, then he's not right. So. I think you got the wrong tray there. <laughs> yeah. Trey Flowers at that, the safety, the senior safety, and along with him is Ramon Richardson, who just moved to that position. So those two guys I have earned tremendous respect from throughout the camp. So I'm hoping to keep their respect with <laughs> What's been the best part of, of playing for Coach uh, Spencer and Coach? Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, the best part of playing for them is, I say, just, just learning from those from those men who've been in the game a long time, learning everything from them and how they look at the game and how I look at the game is totally different because I was young, just basing off speed and athleticism, and I had to learn that it's more of a technique game, yeah. which they showed me, and now I'm playing much better. Has coming to, to play at Oklahoma State met what your expectations were coming in, or has it exceeded them? Like, How, how has it been since you got here? Um, I, I say it's, it's been pretty much as it was throughout the recruiting process yeah. of just playing man to man, you know, and doing what you do best. Yeah, that's what I feel. Cool. When you com when you committed to OSU, I guess at that time Justin Gilbert was kind of just leaving. What, what was the reason that you committed uh, to OSU? And, um, and I actually got him? to run in, run into him. Uh, I think it was like the spring game or whatnot. He, he showed up to. I got to run in with him and talk to him. Him being a first round pick. This is the, his outlook on uh, Oklahoma. He told me, you know, it's a bunch of man to man, so you're going to get a lot of exposure with the ball and whatnot. And I was like, man, I'm the type of corner that they want to be thrown at. So I was like, I'm committing on the spot. Yeah. He told me I'm making a great decision, so I just feel. Have, have you rolled that over to help uh, recruit other guys that are visiting or are trying to make a decision? Is it easy for you to recruit them because oh, yeah, of that? It's, it's much easier. Basically, I, I look at bump and run corners, not too much of a zone corner. Yeah. So if you're a man to man corner, I mean, Big Cliff is a place to be, not only at Oklahoma State, but, you know, this run met, so I'm rooting for Oklahoma State. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything else. Okay.